Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we are going to be doing something that has been requested from you guys, and I don't know, I feel like I've gotten messages about this. There is a new, I mean, it's been out for a couple months now. There is a new sorting hat quiz that's on the Wizarding World app. You right, bro? <laughs> I know, I can't talk right now. And a lot of people are taking this test and switching houses, and so I figured I should take this test and see if I am still a Hufflepuff, and if I am not, decide whether or not I'm gonna stay in my original house or switch houses. It'd be cool if it was really that way, right? Just change whenever you want, guys. So, the Wizarding World app, I actually just got it. I hadn't even had it, and it's really nice. Like, I really enjoy the app. Uh, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, I do recommend it. True. And you can use your Pottermore account. So, like, mine already is Hufflepuff, but you can retake the test. So I'm gonna attempt to screen record everything and maybe I'll put it here. It'll just probably cover Jonathan's face <laughs> if I end up putting it in. Um, if not, I'll just read you guys the questions. So let's see what house I'm in. It talks to you. Well, it plays a sorting hat on you. Does it really? Now sleep me snug about your ears. I've never yet been wrong. Let us begin, Victoria. Consider your answers carefully. Uh-oh. Dawn or dusk? Ooh. I love dawn. Dawn's I'd by say far dusk. My okay. Nerd. How do I pick? What'd you pick? Tilt your phone to select. Oh, up or down? Dusk. This is really not like cool the whole thing after you have died What would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you but smile Fear you Ask for more stories about your adventures Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. I think miss me but smile. So how do I choose it though? Good question, darling. Sorry for the lighting. It's so bad in here. Okay, so you hold it down. Cool beans. There we go. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing Oops. brown diamonds. That one has always intrigued me. Smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plum. Uh. No. The golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eyes and which makes sunspots dance all around the room. I love gold. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. That one's kind of cool. Wow, well, I'm trying to get high. I am going to choose the sparkly ones that looks like ground diamonds because I'm a basic girl. Which would you rather be? There's only eight questions, which is really weird. Is that the same as Pottermore? Would I rather be envied? Imitated, trusted, praised, liked, feared, definitely trusted. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. Which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? These are the exact same questions from Pottermore. Really? Yeah. Like, exactly? Exact. A nearly, a nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Dragon order. Oh. Student records going a thousand years back. That's like not as important, I feel like. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Probably be second. 
first a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox then a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes and finally student records going to a thousand years back you don't I think feel that's like important i do student records to see like different um but i feel like it's not as important like the strange runes could be saying something right I guess. okay Which road tempts you most? A wide, sunny, grassy lane. A narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley. The twisted, leafy, stew path, strewn path through wood. This is weird the way you have to like hold this. Um, I think through the woods, but also a narrow, dark alley, kind of like that. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go with woods because I love the woods. Was that all the questions? No. Okay. This is number seven. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Toads, no. Owls, this way. Cats, this way. Okay, so cat says they're owl. Definitely an owl, right? But then I think I don't really like cats, but I feel like a cat you can cuddle with, and I like cuddling with something. Yeah. And you could just use an owl from the owlery. Yeah, but owls protect you. Remember, Hedwig? Sacrifice. Yeah, but cats are hella smart. Can't fly. Ooh, I can get a Siamese cat, a black cat, a white cat, a ginger cat. I kind of want a ginger cat or a tabby cat. I would go Siamese. Siamese? I kind of like ginger cats. Siamese cats, sick looking. Are they cuddly? They don't I mean, strike me as I cuddly cats. I think I don't think they're as cuddly as like a, you know, your, your average house cat. This white cat looks pretty sick though. I'm gonna go with the ginger cat because I don't know. I like it. I always thought I would take an owl, but I realized like since you can't take dogs to Hogwarts, I feel like I would need something to cuddle with. Can you two? Left or right? Always left. That was the last question. I know you're gonna be helpful. I'm so yeah. nervous. Okay, the sorting hat is ready to make its decision. Hold up your phone and tap to begin. Hold it up and tap. Difficult. Very difficult. That's interesting. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. It's going through all the colors. Loyal. Loyal just popped oh up. Oh god, that's you. Patient. Just oh, popped up. You're a Hufflepuff. I think I'm gonna be Hufflepuff, guys. True. Could be Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Yay! Look how pretty it is! Oh, you guys will see it on the screen recording. Hello, Mama's a Hufflepuff. Where they are just and loyal, those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. So true. Hufflepuff through and through. I've taken this test so many times. Not this one, but kind of. Your girl always gets Hufflepuff. Oh, that's it. I'm a Hufflepuff, guys. Officially staying Hufflepuff. For a minute I thought I was like half Slytherin. And I feel like there's parts of me that are a little Slytherin. But like I am a Hufflepuff. I've always felt like I'm a Hufflepuff. Like for the most part. And I definitely just am so happy. Alright guys. That is all I have for you. I know this is kind of random and terrible lighting. But it's dark outside. I don't have my ring light. So 
sorry tell me down in the comments below if you guys have taken this test and if you got a different house if you decided to switch houses or if you are confused and don't know i feel like a lot of people are confused and don't know which one they should choose but i always feel like you should just follow your gut and everyone always tells me just like you know the sorting hat had said originally that it takes suggestions and what you want into account so if you're confused over which house you feel like you should stay in because one test said this and one test said that go with what your heart is telling you my heart always says hufflepuff so here we are thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next week with a new video bye, bye.